The International, the most prestigious pedestal that Dota has to offer. An arena where a team's metal is truly tested. Making it there is not easy and requires tenacity, perseverance, and above all, the will to keep on moving forward after every setback. This journey becomes a lot more difficult if you're trying to make your way there from the highly competitive Southeast Asia region. But this year, one team from the Philippines has overcome the odds and is now one of Southeast Asia Dota's shining beacons of hope on the world stage. TNC, they've got a GG GG! As TNC take game 2, 2-0, two beating LGD. This is TNC Predator's journey to TI9. After finishing in last place at the main event of TIE 8, TNC's morale was dealt a massive blow. Left without their star carry player and their trusty offlaner, TNC needed some solid replacements. In a bold move, they decided to move Kuku to the offlane while Gabi joined their ranks as the position 1 and Ninja Boogie played 5. This new lineup seemed to click together immediately, qualifying for the Kuala Lumpur Major, ESL1 Hamburg, ESL1 Katowice, WESG, and even placing second at the Asia Pro League Season 2. The boat, it will connect onto Cuckoo. He's going to go down as well. Armel against the world, though he does get scythed by a stump. Spider Fist is there. Lincoln Spear has been broken. He's down. He does have a buyback. He's going to try his best. Though the T4s are going down, and now the angle. Oh, Slider Fist comes in, but they call GG. Oh. While the roster shuffle seemed to be favoring TNC, the calendar and visa gods did not, as TNC could not attend either of the ESL1 events due to scheduling conflicts with WESG and visa issues. Fortunately, they qualified for WESG rather easily, beating out WG Unity 2-0. At Kuala Lumpur, TNC got off to a rough start in the group stages, as they finished in last place, losing to the Chinese powerhouse Weechi Gaming and the newly formed Team Aster. I was expecting to do better in the group stages at least, so yeah, I mean, we're still confident, but yeah, yeah we're still, we still have a lot to learn. Refusing to go down, TNC fought Tooth and Claw, eliminating Pain, Not that that Deck matters, and indeed GG is called, they'll tap out Pain Gaming. As and the Alliance. In celebration, GG. as GG is called, TNC take the game and take the series 2-0 against Alliance. Before eventually meeting the nemesis, Vici Gaming. It seemed that Vici would take the cake after a beyond godlike Ember spread by Ori in the first game. Ori is beyond godlike, so this man is, is. is he is wearing the Nike sweatband. He is yeah, sweat he is. his he, ass off. He is. On the back of a Gabby Spectre and an Armel Bloodseeker, TNC survived and managed to snag Game 2 by adapting to the Chinese playstyle. The GG! The GG from VG! Game 3 was a much longer affair, as TNC carefully tread their way to victory with some sick plays from Armel's Templar Assassin. That is as well a dieback, and it's looking good for TNC and now. And Ori should be oh, next here. TNC, yes. it was a long, tough, uphill battle, but it is going to be successful. Pause Ooh. or not, this one is over. GG's have been tossed. Respect has been given. Their eventual defeat came at the hands of Ninjas and Pajamas, netting TNC 900 DPC points at the Kuala Lumpur Major. It seemed like everything was going well for TNC. Until disaster struck. During a pub game in November 2018, Kuku used a term that's considered offensive and racist by the Chinese community in all chat during a pub game. The fact that Skembalu uttered the same words earlier just a few days ago in a professional match did not help his cause either. The already agitated Chinese Dota fans were outraged and took to all forms of social media to call out Kuku's actions. Even Chinese pro teams refused to scrim with TNC post the incident, and many established pros and personalities publicly condemned Kuku's actions. 
the team's manager made a social media post stating that Kuku wasn't using a racist slur but just calling out an enemy player who coincidentally had the same name as the slur in question. This turned out to be false as it was quickly proved that the alleged player only changed names after the racist remarks were made. It seemed that everything got turned upside down for TNC. To top it all off, their next major was the Chongqing Major in China, where Chinese fans threatened to apprehend Kuku at the airport itself. Seeing this huge mess, Valve decided to step in and ban Kuku from attending the major. In addition to this, WESG, the very tournament that TNC had forfeited two major lands to qualify for, banned Kuku from attending the event. Without Kuku, TNC was left bewildered. Reeling from the loss of their star player, TNC attended the Chongqing Major where their performance clearly worsened. If finishing in the 9th to 12th place didn't stink enough already, Ninja Boogie's departure from the team certainly must have. Consequently, Kuku had to assume the role of captain and AU joined them temporarily as a 5th player. During this period, TNC failed to qualify for any DPC events and the lack of practice seemed to have had its effect. The silver lining to this cloud did come eventually though. A first place finish at the Acer Predator League, a qualification for ESL1 Mumbai followed by a fourth place finish there, and a first place finish at WESG struck all the right notes for the team as they slowly regained their form. In order to further catalyze the process, TNC acquired former Team Liquid coach Heen to bolster the team. Heen's coaching seemed to have worked wonders as they qualified for ESL1 Birmingham and topped their groups in the Epicenter Major qualifiers instead of playing the usual second fiddle to the likes of Fnatic. I will run it, boys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, don't. Both they put in before I get destroyed. The strong performances followed through to the main event, where they played against the likes of Vici Gaming, OG, NIP, and Liquid in the group stages. They went toe to toe with each of these teams. Everyone's gonna start to tick down. Maybe they can get something in return. Cuckoo will finally die. OG can get a kill, but they're gonna lose everything else. Here comes Armel. Jirax actually just ticks down as well. What does it do? Yeah, here comes, Kels Media down, BKB from Armel though, Spirit Vessel out. So just run Miracle through and kill him off, but it looks like TNT oh, has taken back. this second game. Stock controlled up and finished off, Gabi is godlike and they are into the fountain right now and there's a GG being called by PPD. This resulted in an upper bracket start for TNC, while S tier teams like Liquid and Secret had to start their run in the lower bracket. TNC ended up losing both their matches on the main stage consecutively though, resulting in a 5th to 6th place finish at the tournament. If they wanted to reach TI in the most direct manner possible, they had to place higher than OG, Alliance, Gambit and Keen, all of which were at the epicenter major and were very strong contenders, as they topped their group against the likes of OG, PSG LGD and NIP. They even threw RNG to the lower bracket. Cuckoo straight back in. He drags out the Wraith King. Money, he's not even got the Reincarnate back Big online. Wallet. He's GG. dead. It's over. TNC, take the game. They, they have now also guaranteed themselves a slot at TI9 because you get 900 points for being top six. While their arch nemesis, Weechi Gaming, did send them to the lower bracket into the waiting arms of PSG LGD. They have done it. They have fought back against TNC to take the series 2-1 and get a date with Liquid in the winner's bracket final. So you guys played really well, I was impressed. Don't uh, positioning in some of the fights was a bit, uh, I guess, yeah. it's hard, I know it's hard. I'm watching a third person, but you guys are in the game and there's like Lycan and Night yeah. Stalker. Hard to know which angle they're coming from. TNC took them by the hip with a surprise bristleback pick in game one and delivered the final blow with Tims's Enigma in game two. They're straight in jump for Flamio. There's a Tims! He gets the black hole and buys the time for the third Tims! Oh my god, Tims! Oh my! Oh my god! The TIA runner-ups were eliminated by the underdogs. 
Although TNC did eventually fall to the CIS Titans Virtus Pro, they achieved their goal and with it, a slot at TI-9. Well, for TI, I think it's a no-brainer that we will try really hard um, boot camp for weeks before TI. Um, I can't really promise results, but only that you'll really try hard to become even better, more versatile, and fix some of the flaws that we have. 